Hey guys, when I was in Honduras, I started reincorporating um, a lot of isometrics and especially handstand training. That means training to eventually achieve a handstand, but the goal being only a one to two second hold. So I'm not really, you know, expecting to hold a handstand for a minute unassisted, but I am doing all the pre-positioning moves to help me achieve that, and then my goal is achieved if I do what they call a tripod tap handstand, and I can hold it for one to two seconds. What's very interesting though, is in training all these moves that train the body how to hold it, your posture greatly improves. Um, the owner of the gym in Honduras, I left for two weeks uh, to come back here to the States, and I went back, you know, since he's a bodybuilder, I said, hey man, like you, you look like really trimmed down, are you dieting down for a contest? And he said, no. Everybody's asking me that. He says, since I've been doing some of these isometric exercises you taught me, he feels his posture has greatly improved. And you know, if you have bad posture, you're, you know, your belly kind of flares out. But if you have great posture, uh, because your spine is erect, your belly kind of tucks back in. And uh, when he told me that, I even got more excited about it. So I'm going to tell you the little routine I like to do. It's basically one minute handstand hold, one minute bar of iron, uh, 30 seconds to a minute of headstand, and then finally, five tripod to uh, mule kick to headstand, and you can hold it for one to two seconds. And again, once you do the, if you can get it for one to two seconds, you're gonna see more than strength. It's also the ability of your body, uh, body to achieve balance. So let's start with the first one in the series. So I have a timer. I'm gonna do a one minute handstand hold against a wall. So like this, I have my timer, boom, and here I go. Again, the goal being to understand this position to um, not just uh, put all the weight on my uh, delts, but do I have the proper body symmetry and bone structure so that I'm holding it as efficiently as possible. Also, I want to be kind of like tight like a board, right? And then just go to your happy place. Once you get better, you can practice, you know, a little, how, how well can you hold it without the wall? Again, this is a great um, isometric for your posture, keeping your uh, toes pointed, you know, abs tight, 